Hello everyone, Marseille here with surprise surprise, a workbench video. Now if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I upload images and clips on my story relating to what I call the workbench, wherein I make all sorts of crafts, props, toys, and general artwork. Well this time I thought, why not dedicate an entire post to one such project? What I'm gonna make today is actually my final project for drafting in my first semester. I'm gonna make a bookshelf from an old guitar. It's gonna be a step by step so that you too can make it at home. We're gonna be using some dangerous tools so if you're a little inexperienced in woodwork I highly recommend having adult supervision. So let's get started. First things first you're gonna need an old guitar that no one uses. I use pliers to pluck the strings off because we're not gonna need them. You're also going to need sandpaper uh, for sanding, then you're going to need a hammer, an inch tape, this is, this is going to be real useful, pliers, a hot glue gun, make sure you have plenty of silicon tubes, a scale, and a hand saw. I don't have any heavy machinery so I'm going to use my own two hands to saw the wood. forgot to mention this, but since we're using a handsaw, you're gonna need a thick glove to make sure you don't cut yourself. it's time to paint. Uh, I bought acrylic paints because they are the best paints to use on wood. Poster paints are too dry. Acrylic is more uh, 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 water-based which is why it becomes easier to spread the paint uh, when working on wood. Uh, watercolors you know they don't work because the water just seeps through uh, the texture and ruins the, uh, the wood itself starts making molds and whatnot plus the color doesn't really stick um, uh, so yeah acrylic is the best paint to use when it comes to painting wood so I've set the first coat of paint to dry meanwhile we're gonna use a thin plank a thin wooden plank that I happen to have in my store to make the shelves. We're gonna use the inch tape to take accurate measurements of the inside of the guitar so we can put the shelves inside it.
found these small wooden pieces painted them red and I'm going to paste them inside of the guitar so that they can be used to support the shelf planks. We're going to use a hot glue gun to paste them inside. So as you can see the outer shell is complete. Now to start with the lighting. I bought these fairy lights from uh, a dollar store. Uh, these are yellow colored, warm yellow and uh, I'm going to be attaching these inside of the guitar shell. So as you can see I'm going to be using the hot glue gun again to attach the um, string lights or fairy lights as they're also known onto the edges or the outline of the guitar so that it lights up when I hang it on the wall. It's going to look really nice, give it a nice aesthetic feel.
Okay, so we're done with the lights. Now, in order to hang the guitar, I'm not gonna use uh, any hooks or anything. I'm just gonna use this rubber band. In fact, I'm gonna use two rubber bands. Just put them around the uh, hooks on side and uh, use that to hang it on a nail in the wall. I'm using two in order to maintain stability. And there you go. Time to plug this baby in. Congratulations, you've made your very own guitar shelf. Have fun adorning it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content such as this. You can follow my art page on Instagram, that's at maher.said99. Also check out my short film, I Am Pagliacci, the link for which can be found in the description below. Again, thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. Maher Said out.